Ah, are you see? Oh my God! Come on, lady. Man, I need to start using some of these medical herbs. Yeah, I think we'll get there soon enough. I agree. That was Landstalker. Uh, action adventure. Yeah, it is a little odd. It's a where the heck do I go kind of game. It's it inspires RPG elements, but it lacks a lot of necessary RPG elements, such as stats, levels, um, a reliable combat system. It's isometric, but it's not really done well. It's hard to walk. It's harder to hit the enemy. And talking to the townsfolk yields very little information. You know. It, it feels like Castlevania 2. In many ways. Because, like, Castlevania 2 employed a lot of new elements, but the, it, the game on a whole just kind of suffered because it was not well polished. And that's really the best way to describe Landstalker. That's what I'm hoping for, Chaos Break Shirt PB, yeah. Like, a lot of time save is in the second kind of portion of the run that we're getting to, so if we can be ahead going into that portion, you know, kind of exciting. Is that the Yeti? Yeah, this is the Yeti SF shirt. You got the red one? Ty has the red one. Turbo Dog gave us the shirts and kind of let us pick, so I was like, well, what do you what do you want, Ty? Jeez, with the freeze. Well, not ever. Yeah, it's when you play a mod all over and over and over again. Oh my gosh, I should have hit I should have hit that thing with blaze. Oh, Peter killed it. Never mind.
Well, that's really good. Peter is up there with the Death Monk. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, grind. No, we're gonna... This is... Oh man. We're gonna have a gigantic gold split. Holy ball sacks. Oh my gosh. Of course the death monk's gotta go. Always gotta take one more turn to take lose time. This, oh my god. Wow. 